Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading will resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have surrender to the divine with a new romantic cycle begins. So things are happening behind the scenes here you are unaware of. The universe is definitely taking control. This is uh, faded and meant to be. We have irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched as well as commitment. I want you to be part of my future here. Someone's coming to a final decision here. They've definitely made up their minds and know what they want firmly. Overall energy, we have Six of Wands. This is about being successful here, overcoming challenges. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your energy this week. Also recognition as well, picking up. Okay, Four of Pentacles, the Hermits, and the High Priestess. This is a very magical week for you when it comes to the spiritual realm. Things that have been owed to you karmically for a very long time are starting to appear in front of your very eyes. Your intuition is very high this week as well, especially things in regards to finances. Uh, if you've been, you know, really putting some time in or effort here to save or uh, to cut back in certain areas, the benefit you're going to see uh, is abundance here and coming soon. Okay, so something's going to surprise you there. Uh, I do see in regards to your person, you feel like, you know, they've been gone for quite a while for some of you, or they've been very detached uh, in an emotional way, and you feel like, you know, there's nothing you can do, you can't control someone else, so you're just looking towards your own path, towards the future. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune for their energy. So they are having this empowering feeling. I need to offer and take my person off of the market immediately. This is something that they didn't really see the value of in the past, but they see the value now to offer this. And they feel like they've missed this opportunity to really take advantage of uh, sealing the deal here with you. And they feel like as well, they've played along or played games, okay, in this situation and have made you uh, wait, but I see that they purposely took their time, okay, and kind of put a barrier up as if things weren't even moving at all. So this could have been a very stuck type situation where you felt like nothing was ever going to move or change. Tell them with the wheel, but with the wheel of fortune now, okay, things are turning in a different direction. Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, yes. They are very fearful here. This is comes from some deep-seated doubt within themselves, okay? So it's showing up that they could have commitment issues in general or uh, be afraid to have responsibilities. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. We have the Sun, the Seven of Pentacles, and... Knight of Wands. Okay, so it became very clear in the beginning that this was going to be a situation where you might have to wait, okay? There was something else going on, a barrier here, that you knew was going to take some time and that they needed some time to make decisions as well as make changes in the physical realm in order to uh, be serious with you. But I see that how they took this time was uh, being... Uh, very inconsistent, hot and cold. So during the process, they didn't make you feel like both of you were working towards a goal. Instead, you felt like they were working against you and against this connection. Almost as if they were playing with your feelings here. Tell with the Knight of Wands. Page of Pentacles, it was a strategy to kind of slow this pace down. Okay, there's a lot of fears or uh, doubts that they had within themselves to achieve something here. Uh, Page of Pentacles. So I see that they acted in a way where they would give you just a little bit sometimes, uh, especially when it came to passion or, you know, really kind of amping things up, making you feel good about this, but nothing was backed by action. Okay, it was a lot of talking, but no acting upon it. And I see there could be an age gap difference as well for some of you, not for everyone. 
but where they were at in their life or mentally was not necessarily where you were at, right? You had already learned a lot of tough lessons and have been through so much that this person hasn't come up to that level. They've not learned some things when it comes to uh, love, relationships, and communication, as well as uh, stability here in their life. So the inconsistency is something that they depend on. It makes them feel comfortable in this world in general. And I see that this person doesn't like to really uh, give their all or commit to something, uh, just feeling like they have this fear that it's never going to work out. Some of the Page of Pentacles. Two of Wands, yeah, afraid to invest and put all of their eggs in one basket. And this is not just with you, this is in general here. Because they feel like they see very clearly people waste years of their life or they waste time really investing in other people when you can't control that. And they feel like everyone will always disappoint you, everyone will always end up hurting you. And so that's just their mentality here. But I see that they started to change along the way here. And this happened during separation or the last time you've spoken to them where they've been uh, somewhat different in their energy, very detached more than normal. Uh, they've come to the realization that they were causing their own chaos. And this came to them because of you as well as something that was needing to be addressed in their situation. And a lot of you do know what that is. Tell me the sun card. Page of Cups, yeah. So they can make you feel good at times, could be kind of charming, but only surface level discussions, okay? So when it came to talking about this connection on a deep level, they would just try to dodge or avoid, okay, serious conversations here. And I see that inside, even though they come off sometimes a bit cocky or uh, confident, inside they're very sensitive, Okay, it's something that they don't like to show people, and that's the reason for uh, not committing as well as they feel like they can't handle it. Okay, if their heart was broken, it's something that scares them deeply. Justice Page of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, only giving a little bit in the situation, but I see that they didn't reciprocate, okay? But with the Page of Swords, too, it's sometimes... You know, they could pick on you. It's a very immature energy I see going on here, trying to push your buttons at times. Uh, and without you knowing it, you just kind of look at them like they were playing games or kind of being uh, a jerk. But uh, inside, this was something that they were fearful of talking about. And they chose to do this as a strategy because they knew that the, you weren't going to go anywhere. They knew you were going to stick around. Uh, this was what they thought. And so they thought in the end, all will be made right, but I need them to kind of be in this energy for this time being. So they definitely manipulated your emotions and conversations here uh, to make you feel frustrated with them so that you wouldn't want too much or you'd allow them to go away for a little while so that when they did come back, you would want them to balance things out because you don't like the energy you're in, okay? So definitely accepting them with open arms. It's just the way that they thought things would work out during this process. And I see things were very unfair and imbalanced here. They created some karmic debt, okay? And some unfinished business is needing to be dealt with. So the universe has kind of pushed this forward here. So let's see what action they take. We have Four of Swords, King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Someone's coming up with a secreted plan here to get the desires of their heart. And they're about to uh, finally confess something that they've needed to for a very long time. So if this reading's resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.